The sixth thing that I wish I stopped sooner is I think there was a point in my life when I had an unhealthy relationship with that as well. Like I said, I have an addictive personality. I was neglecting my relationships as a result of consuming pornography and doing, you know, things like that. It was destructive to my relationship. Now I'm not saying or debating the pros and cons, but when I stopped consuming and started focusing that energy on my relationship, it got better. Let's give him a round of applause for our boy. Let's give him a round of applause. That's right, my friend. Just like Kanye, our boy, Alpha M, Aaron from Shark Tank, just came out of the NoFap closet. This is the same dude who is literally ramming products down our throats every time we watch his videos. Teach it daily, teach it daily, teach it daily. And this is the same guy who, holy shoot, this guy has over 900 million video views? What the f- Now, I know some of you are gonna be like, Ooh, he's still fapping though. He's not even a monk mode. He only said he stopped watching prawn. He's not even doing the proper stru- Shut up. This guy has a gigantic audience. And the fact that he's publicly talking about, you know, that it may be a positive thing to quit this or to lower it or, you know, to step back a bit and to question your relationship with prawn, that is a huge step. And that's exactly what we need right now. So let's not be super critical. Let's not be perfectionists here. In his video, Aaron briefly talked about it. He didn't want to go into great details as to what are the pros and cons, the benefits, the negatives. So I figured, all right, you know, I see you. I get you. You don't want to get in the nitty gritty. You, you want to avoid the controversy, whatever it may be. I understand. I understand. It's not an issue. I'm going to grab that baton, you know. I'm going to just run by you real quick. I'll snag that baton. I see you setting me up. I'm going to step into the arena. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. That's what we do. So the pros, the cons, the most important details, what you need to know. You may already know this. It's going to be a good refresher, a good way to keep you on the path, sharpen you up, tune you up a bit, remind you why you're on this. And if you don't, well, you're about to learn some dope ash lessons from yours truly. So get strapped in, grab yourself a little snack. I just had my avocado 40 gram plant-based protein shake grab your tea grab your coffee whatever your um, preferred drink may be let's get a little discussion going down below and let's do this let's get the obvious out of the way we are quite well aware of how prawn makes us feel you know when you're watching it you feel young you feel desired you feel attractive you feel alive, you feel at ease, you feel fired up. It's great, these are amazing sensations, right? They have to be there, otherwise why would there be such a huge demand for this stuff? So we know that when the human brain views prawn, when it's viewing adult content, we know that the limbic part of our brain is firing up. And this is where a lot of our emotional responses are, the instincts, okay? This is the instincts part of us we know that this emotional and arousal system gets fired up by prawn the same way it would get fired up and excited and stimulated by a real person okay when you are uh doing pleasurable things you know together it gets fired up the exact same way this part of our brain does not have that conscious understanding that you know we viewing it we know that it's oh it's on a screen i'm viewing it on a tube site it's not really happening it's just a video i know this isn't real i know it's just you know just some fantasy you consciously know that your feelings don't your feelings don't if it if your feelings knew those things you wouldn't feel that way so because our feelings can't consciously di differentiate that it just knows that whoa this is a fantastic mating opportunity. Whoa, this feels incredible. This is this is great. Genetic goals are being met. I like I'm seeing something that is really stimulating, that's really firing me up. That's all it registers. And that's what it remembers and that's what it learns. It doesn't know the difference between woman in real life versus woman on screen. It's the exact same stimulus to it. It's talking to it on a very evolutionary, very zero one binary language. Let's say it's around 10 o'clock. Okay, you're alone in your room and boom, okay, urge hits like a brick in your face. You, you feel it, you feel that sensation. It's like this unbearable itch, okay, and it's 
so painful to ignore it. You feel so much pain ignoring it, and every cell in your body just wants to go. <laughs> but you're just like, oh, you're in conflict because you know that what happens when you itch that part of your, of your. Uh, first, you will feel a tingle sensation in your brain. It's kind of like these big rips and squirts of dopamine are going off as you're starting to think about consuming prawn. Your heart will start to pound. You might get shaky hands. An intense sensation will develop in your core. You might feel your stomach tighten a lot. You might feel a lot of uh, sensation in your lower body. And this is all happening as your brain is kind of anticipating this humongous chocolate fountain erupting uh, like around the corner. You know, that's what the brain is thinking. It's just, it's thinking about this insane pleasure uh, binge, this insane pleasure heaven just around the corner, you know, just a little like peep away, a click away. It feels like you're on some sort of super highway. You're going 200 miles per hour and there's no slowing down. You know, everyone behind you is going just as fast. You're like, God, I really need to make a U-turn. I know what I'm doing is not safe. It's not healthy for me, but it's like, you feel like you can't stop. You feel like you're just going and it's so fast and intense. It's all happening like, next thing you know, bada bing, bada boom. Opioids, endorphins, surges of dopamine and other euphoric feelings and other neurochemicals fire in the brain, giving you an intense high like a kite, nothing matters anymore sensation. Okay, this is super important. If there's anything I want you to take from this video, it's this part right here. These feelings from watching prawn are the barometer or the scale by which you determine the value of any experience, okay? They tell you what to approach and what to avoid and where to put your attention. That's why playing a video game is a lot more fun and exciting than reading a book. And hence why you have a lack of motivation when it comes to reading. Dopamine also tells you what to remember by helping to rewire your brain. So once you hit that pinnacle, Boom, then you hit a drop, okay? So what happens in the body, oxytocin, I believe, is released into the body to like stabilize you. Um, you'll feel that calm, relaxing sensation. You're gonna feel at ease. You'll feel like you just had like a big meal. It's like that feeling, you feel satisfied, you feel satiated, as if you just ate that full meal and you're like, all right, I'm good, I got what I wanted. But you may also have a little dread of regret. Ah! And this is definitely for the people who've already kind of been a little red pilled or a little self aware of this habit. Uh, this is more so the dudes who are trying to like quit and they view it as a problem. That's when you start to get these like negative effects where you're like, oh crap, you know, I regretted doing that. You're realizing you did something you didn't want to do. You fell for the bait, now you feel trapped. This is where you commonly feel shame regret, sadness, disappointment, anger, frustration, anxiety, apathy. This is, you know, normal, these feelings uh, for someone who has become aware and wants to leave this habit. It's just part of the journey. You need those negative emotions to kind of motivate you. Um, so as much as they suck, they're, they're, they're good. It's good that you're feeling that because it means that you desire something more, something else. Let's say you consistently use prawn for a while. Okay, uh, you reap the benefits proudly. You're like, yeah, whatever, this is awesome. Um, some of the obvious benefits, this is definitely something that we have to just accept as a reality. Yes, there are benefits of using it. Otherwise, why would we? The obvious one being sexual novelty and variety. Nowadays, there are so many sites, and I'm not saying that in a way to like trigger you, but this is just a reality. You can simulate anything, anything, and it's gonna get to the point, well, it already is, where we're creating video games. People can play God in their own little um, <laughs> dating lives, you know what I mean? It's, it's crazy. Um, but that's why it's so fun and exciting. Cause like, that's something that's, you can make your deepest desires come true. Right? So there's that factor. There's the feeling of status that like, oh yeah, I'm with that person. Like I just did that with this girl. You know, you feel what's happening on a like evolutionary standpoint or back on that limbic brain is your brain thinks you just had that mating opportunity and then it ups your status like you feel like you just earned that girl you just fertilized that girl on the screen and now it's like yeah i just did what my genes wanted me to do right so the status feeling of that 
or having these like girls around you, you know, creating that fantasy. Feelings of excitement, right? Feeling desired regardless of your flaws and vices. Overriding and escaping emotions, right? You're feeling low, you get rejected. You, you just had a bad argument with your family. Is it one of those days? Oh, the world's like ending, bro, with the lockdown. You can just override that, escape all of that by just losing your mind into this fantasy land. Things might be okay at first as you do this on a routine basis, as it becomes a habit. You know, you're actively, consistently watching, but you might notice that you're slightly changing. And that's how you know things have started to go south. There are countless research papers in notable neuroscience journals. The consensus is only increasing. You might be wondering, okay, what is this consensus? Okay, this is what it is. Prawn, adult content, especially on the internet, online, HD, 4K, blah, 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 activates the same addiction model in the brain that drugs like alcohol, tobacco, and cocaine do. Okay, and it is most comparable um, the obvious comparison, because people are going to be like, Oh, but it's not a drug, it's substance. Right, okay, it's not a drug, but how is it that gambling is a disorder? It's a problem and an addiction, but when it comes to prawn, it's like, it's just thrown up in the air. It's like, dude, gambling is not a drug or a substance, right? It is the most comparable thing. It activates the exact same synapses like other drugs would. So here are the most important cons uh, reported from millions of men online, such as myself, and as well as facts from the scientific literature. The most obvious one, and this is going to be what causes most of your issues, is brain atrophy. Okay, what does that mean? Atrophy means degradation, weakening, dying, basically. Like, literally atrophying your brain. It's, it's becoming so weak in terms of its prefrontal abilities, your problem solving, your impulse control that shit goes down to a juvenile state. So yes, it's kind of odd by watching adult content, you become more childlike. Hmm, interesting. You may notice things like brain fog, things just seem unclear, like you don't know what to do. You don't know how to like solve this problem. Um, your emotional resilience and your emotional like capabilities where you know, your stress responses may not be the same anymore situations might annoy you agitate you and cause you to just lose your shit whereas before you were totally cool you may feel no drive no inspiration for life no motivation to do anything <laughs> kind of just feeling like a zombie earlier genres of content that you used to watch they're no longer exciting before you could just watch like two people kissing now you gotta watch those crazy compilations where it's like every five seconds it's just hardcore boom 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 in a span of a three minute video you watch like 200 videos like that's how you know you're developing desensitization which is part of the addiction model you may develop like weird fetishes initially you might be someone who was like oh you know i just like girls or you know i like this or like that then it goes really crazy where we go into the anime land you know what I mean? You know, you know where that goes. You know where that rabbit hole goes. You know that it's completely ridiculous. The sensitivity of Mr. Johnson pff, drops. And when that drops greatly, there's a lot of negative consequences that comes with that. Meaning that the level of excitement, the level of pleasure, uh, the level of desire that you feel with a real person in, you know, a romantic environment, that also takes a hit. Prawn becomes your preferred outlet. And because all of this BS, Fantasizing may be a requirement for you to stay engaged, excited when you are in the bedroom. And that's no way to, that's no way to live. That's no way to be intimate. That's no way to be a lover. Of course, some obvious ones is objectifying, you know, that you ruin the relationship, how you view the opposite of sex, how you view yourself and your own, uh, you know, worth as a man. You start to kind of just objectify that, view yourself as a piece of meat, view others as a piece of meat, judging others purely and solely on their physical looks and, and attributes and kind of just neglecting personality, characteristics, virtues. That kind of just doesn't really care anymore because you're just wiring yourself to only care about physicality and certain acts the list goes on it goes way way deeper man because then you know this this leads to stuff where like you will become more desensitized the, the influence that it has on violence and and assault and in, in, in the context between intergender dynamics how 
and then we, then we talk about how that plays into your depression. There's also reports people having higher levels of anxiety, feeling more depressed, higher chances of marriage failures, higher levels of dissatisfaction in relationships. The list goes on. This is like scratching the surface. Uh, that's really the, the un unfortunate part. I know you don't want to hear this, you know, especially as someone who may have just signed up for what was it called? Uh, P hub premium, you know, the free it's free right now. I know you don't want to hear this, but this is just the reality. If you want to learn more about all this, if you want me to go a little bit deeper, check out my Kanye video. It's going to pop up right here. Um, I talk about Kanye's story. I talk about why, why he has been talking about it, why he quit as of late when he released his latest uh, album. So definitely give that a watch. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the notification bell. Hope you are doing well. Hope you're doing healthy and your family as well. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.